Hey, this is Birdie, and this is my first PHP tutorial. Well, it's my first video one. Uh, before we go into things, we're going to need a MySQL database, of which you can get from pretty much any hosting service anywhere. Well, I guess if you haven't got one, it's your lucky day, because ByteForums.com has just started a competition giving them out for free, so, yeah. Anyway, now that you've, now that you've just supposedly got all of your needs, PHP server, MySQL database, FTP, whatever. I'll show you how to create a simple user login form just to show you a small amount of what PHP MySQL can do for you. Well, just to, just before I started this tutorial, I made a login page here. And that's it in the browser. browser. Uh, pretty simple, yeah? Nothing, no, it doesn't give anything yet. Uh, the source code the form basically tells us that all the data is going to go to the login.php uh, PHP script that I'm going to make. Well, I'm going to show you how to make by the method post. Uh, post is basically that not the data doesn't get shoved in the address bar like a get function does or get get method does. Uh, in, instead, it's all hidden. Anyway. I'll just, I'll just, well, firstly, we're going to have to start the tags and assign the um, variables. Username equals post. Username. Okay, so that's just get, that's just assigning username to the post, yeah, post data that for the for the username. Password equals post. Password. Okay, and now all of the um, variables are done. You're going to have to connect to your MySQL database using the MySQL connect function. Uh, hostname, username, password. So usually it's localhost, then root for the main, but that's whatever yours is anyway. And then you put your password in, which I'll block out later. Uh, next, you're going to have to connect to the uh, database using the mysql select db function for me it's bf tutorial okay i'll just show you my uh, structure of the database using php my admin great tool save me loads of times okay i mean bf tutorial database i've already made the uh, table but i'll give you the sql uh, i'll give you the sql stuff so it's uh, well, you'll already have one done. Uh, I've got. I've just put in a sample data. Uh, birdie, that's me, and the password that's encrypted. Okay, now we're gonna have to use. We're gonna have to make it. SQ, uh, we're gonna have to make an SQL uh, statement, just so we get where, what the data, what data we want out of my, MySQL. So it's select. So select the um, data. Select it all from the table, which is users, where the username field is equal to the username variable. Limit by one. Uh, we're going to have to assign query to the actual query being run. So my SQL query that query that runs the um, query. Next, we're going to have to find out how many rows are actually given out by the MySQL query uh, statement. So you, we use MySQL num rows to actually count the rows. Uh, I'll just put this in and I'll show you why later. Uh, don't worry about this yet. Okay, now you're just going to have to use common sense, really, using the if condition. So if the rows are smaller than one, so if the rows given out by the SQL SQL query are smaller than one, so that means there's no users, yeah, with that username variable, uh, you just say that very nicely that there's no usernames and 
they were stupid enough to try. Okay. Uh, else if so if there are usernames then you, we've got to check the uh, passwords uh, for this uh, we've got we've, I've just used the object function so you can just you can get one specific uh, field which we're going to need the password field to give out uh, to, so we can compare the password in the database with the password submitted uh, password DB uh, that just gets the um, field and I just forgot to actually encrypt the uh, password submitted so password encrypted equals MD5 so that's the type of encryption I'm using you don't need to use it okay so else, it, else if password submitted which is encrypted now I think it's equivalent yeah it's equivalent not equal to a password in the database <coughs> then you just then you've basically logged in so logs in else there's a username but the passwords are wrong so password is incorrect and that's basically done there uh, you can fancy it up just by putting different statements like uh, you can use sessions to keep the passwords and usernames all the way through your entire site um, anything like that but using the uh, MySQL query you can use all of the uh, SQL statements so you can make a use of registration form by using the insert function and selecting and whatever you want uh, I'll just show you that the page does work so I'll just put in my pa my username and password log in and you've logged in yeah, let's put anything in for the password password is incorrect let's yeah, put in that then put in any random username which is not in the um, table log in and it should have username does not exist and uh, that's basically all I've got to tell you today um, hope you enjoyed it, hope it helped helps me way better than actually just reading stuff um, visit by, by forums com and if you want any help I'll just I'll be willing to help and I'll bet half the people there will be anyway see you later